Swimoutlet.com delivers the best online shopping experience. With an extensive selection and the lowest prices, you're guaranteed to find the product you need. Here's what you get. Free shipping on all orders over $49. Free one to two day shipping on all orders over $99. All orders placed by 6 p.m. ship out the same day. Shop at Swimoutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. This is the Morning Swim Show for Wednesday, February 13th, 2013. I'm your host, Tiffany Elias. Today we have three guests in the Phineas Monitor, and they happen to be three brothers who have all chosen to swim for the University of Kentucky. Senior Trip, Junior Nick, and Freshman Scott are all here to share more about their unique experience. Joining us from Lexington, Kentucky, boys, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. I know, I know you're getting set to get into the water, so we'll make this quick here. We don't want to lose any valuable practice time. But before we get started, we've got Trip over here, followed by Nick and then Scott on the left, so our viewers are watching. Uh, we commonly see siblings on the pool deck. The Vander case had four, but three is pretty unique. Yeah, it's different. So what, let's start off with Trip. You're the senior. Why did you choose to go to Kentucky four years ago? Uh, I was recruited by uh, Sean Zatani. Who actually left before here, and uh, he really told me it was a great program. You know, they're looking to get some fast kids in, and I really wanted to come here. They also have a great dental school here, which I was really interested in at the time, and kind of all worked out. So you were interested in dental at the time. Is that what you're studying now? Correct. Okay, and then Nick, you were only a year behind. What was the the decision factor behind you following your older brother to Kentucky? Well, I didn't. Uh... I really didn't know where I wanted to go at first, and then, you know, I came down or, you know, I was talking to my brother, you know, what he liked down there and everything, and he said he loved it, and when I went down on my uh, trip, uh, I loved it, you know, I just love the area, I love the location, I love everything about Kentucky. So you guys are from Michigan, how far, how far is uh, the university from your home? Takes us, like, Five and a half hours to get home. Okay. All right, so, Scott, you had the chance to break the pattern of following the brothers out to Kentucky, but you as well signed a few years behind. What? Tell, walk us through your, your decision-making process. Well, I came down here a lot to visit my brothers and watch them swim and go out and do stuff here, and I really loved Lexington because it's, it's a big school, it's a small campus, so it's not that hard to get around from place to place and class to class. And also, they have a ton of different majors, and I'm undecided right now, so I'm not really sure what to choose, but they have, they have so many to choose from, and I really like that about Kentucky, too. What do the other freshmen think, Scott, that you have two older brothers on the team? Uh, they think it's kind of like an inspiration because I have people to look up to, and Maybe other people think that they're probably they're, they're thinking that they're their older brothers. And so I have people to look up to. I have to people to fill the shoes with. And it's just, it's exciting. So Tripp, having all three of you boys there, what's the living situation like for you guys at Kentucky? Uh, right now, it's, uh, I'm in a house, a swimmer house. Nick is in a swimmer house and Scott is in the dorms. And next year, me and Nick are looking to live together and, we try to get Scotty in here, but uh, our coach won't let him out of the dorm. So <laughs> now the freshmen have to stay in the dorms for their freshman and sophomore year. Is that correct? Yes. Correct. It's kind of a new rule. Like my freshman year, or before my freshman year, you only had to you had to stay in twice, and then my freshman year you were able to just go one year, and then you could get yeah. out. Yeah. Same, same with him. And then with they just switched. They to reinstated over. the rule. Yeah. Yeah. For him. Oh, okay. For, for his year. Yeah. So, are you looking forward to living together, Tripp and uh, Nick? Yeah. yeah. Now, Makes also, everything. Tripp, you're going to be a senior. You're a senior this year, so you're going to, uh, what are your plans now for once your fourth year of swimming is complete? Well, I'm going to have one more semester after this, so I'll finish up in uh, December next year, in 2013, and then, I mean, I've been doing a lot of internships or uh, interviews to hopefully go on to some internships to do maybe some sales if dentistry doesn't work. 
But after that, the following semester, after December, so in the spring, I'll be starting to uh, do clinicals at uh, the dental school and also start studying for my DAT, which is the best you need to get into dental school. Well, that's great. Uh, definitely a lot of good plans on the horizon. Now, Nick, what are some of the advantages of swimming with two of your brothers uh, on the same college team? Well, it's good because you got always somebody to fall back to. You know, if anything goes wrong or anything, you got somebody there, you know, one of them. It's, it'd be good if I just had one brother, but having two, you know, is good. And then um, uh, uh, push each other, too. We push each other. We try and make each other better. You know, we want to get better as a family. Like, have each one of us be, you know, the best. Right. Would you say, Scott, would you say there's any disadvantages of of having two of your brothers on the same team? Um, not really. We do fight a lot, but that's what brothers do. So, but it's all in all, it's fun. It's good. And I love having them here and swimming with them. So, Tripp, you were the first to make the decision where you were going to head off to college. And then your two brothers behind you, as I'm sure they've been following suit your entire life, choose to make the same big decision that you did. How did how did you feel when um, Scott signed on and Nick signed on to going to the same school? Really, I mean, I was honored because it's it's nice to have your family around. You know, it just keeps us close together. I mean, you look at some families who really, their brothers don't talk to each other, even sisters, they don't really communicate as much. I mean, I mean, we're solidifying a relationship for the rest of our lives, which is really nice. I mean, it's like our dad has a good brother and sister that he always talks to, and we're lucky to have close, such close family. And, you know, going forward, if we all have kids, you know, our kids are all going to be close together just because of what we formed when we were young. Well, that's great. Nick, how do your parents feel about the three of you being at Kentucky? They love it. You know, my mom loves it. Our mom loves it. You know, yeah. she, that's all she talks about. And she always says, you know, we're going to move down there with you and all that, but oh, but she would love to do something like that. But I don't know. All right. Well, we're rounding out towards the end of the 2013 college season. You guys are getting ready for SECs that is coming up in just under two weeks. Trip, this is your final. Yeah, this is your final meet. Uh, how would you describe your last four years at Kentucky? Awesome. Awesome. It's a, it's a great experience. I mean, college is really, it's the four years that you really need to mature. I mean, yeah, you're getting your school done, but it's really those four years that are really making you mature into the person you're going to be. So, I mean, I've really had a great experience here. I've really bonded with people who helped me mature into the person I'm hoping to be one day. And Nick, I understand that you're injured right now. You won't be competing in the conference meet. Uh, what happened? What happened there? Uh, well, I was riding my scooter home from uh, breakfast. Yeah, I have a scooter. You know, it takes me from A to B on campus or whatever. And I was riding it home from breakfast after practice on a Saturday. I think it was two weeks ago, and um, I was just driving down the street. Some Somebody pulled, was backing out of their driveway. They didn't see me. I turned to the left, you know, and dropped my scooter, and I fell and hurt my shoulder. So are, are you out of the water currently and also not competing? Uh, yes, because uh, I got to go through steps of rehab and everything, and so I'm out of the water right now, rehabbing my shoulder, then going to get back in soon to s start training for next year. Well, scooters are very popular on those college campuses, but they can be dangerous, so we always yes. tell people to be careful. Scott, before we wrap up, what would you say has been the most memorable point of your freshman year this year? Um, probably just seeing my brothers every day. You know, it's, yeah, <laughs> just seeing them and hanging out with them, you know, their family. You can't get much closer and better than that. All right, well, we appreciate you guys sharing your story with us here at Swimming World. Good luck at conference. Hope Kentucky does well, and uh, hopefully we'll see you around on the pool deck soon. All right, thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. All right, that's Trip, Nick, and Scott in the Phoenix Monitor. That will conclude today's morning swim show.
Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with all the latest news. I'm your host, Tiffany Elias. Thanks for watching.